Mugman is here. Hello. Oh, excellent. Oh, and Ruth, fabulous, and Linda. Hello. I would say, again, I feel like the lady from Romper Room, <laughs> seeing who's here, but I absolutely love to see who's around. It's wonderful, especially, ooh, on a Sunday, should I show you all? Oh, maybe, depending on where in the world you are, look at that. I'm here. Hello, Sandra. Uh, look, yes, if you want snow, here it is at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, yes, a little bit. It was a little like this this morning, and then we got rain, and then now the snow has kicked in a little bit. So, yes, it was bound to happen. It is winter. Uh, although technically, you know, it's supposed to be winter in November, or December, you know, it's still only technically November. Um, but yes... Uh, yeah, so how are all of you? I hope everybody's doing good. And what are you up to on a Sunday? Yes, happy Sunday, Ruth. Uh, I hope you're all staying warm and dry inside. Especially on a, uh, again, a day like today where, ugh, uh, I'm personally not a big fan of the snow, so I am um, happy to be inside where it's nice and warm, so that's good. Now I'm going to have to clean off my car, of course, when I leave here uh, in several hours, but luckily I have two sewing brushes in my car, just in case. So that's a good thing. You know, it happens every year. I'm still never ready for it, but it is what it is, so... You just uh, get used to winter, and then again, any time that I can stay inside, and so uh, I'd much rather do that. <laughs> so I hope you all are having a wonderful Sunday. Again, I'm here from the Genome, Genome Sewing and Learning Center, and I thought, again, I'm here by myself, so I'm busy doing some more holiday sewing. So again, I thought, oh, I might as well jump on live and see who's around and see what other projects um everybody else is doing you know i can't believe how close it is for christmas so we really need to uh get going on all this so that's why i'm here on a sunday and again i like to um oh geez i like to come in uh when no one else is here is a perfect time, you know, as we're all trying to... Oh, and Nancy Fiedler's here again. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yes, maybe you'll all understand. I talked about this. I did a little Facebook Live yesterday, too. And I said, oh, I love these daylight lamps here above my big, beautiful Continental M7. You know, the, the machines have so much light. There's so much LED light here in the bed of the Continental M7. But I love having this as a big uh, daylight lamp it's called the illuminous because it's very bright and again very uh, repositionable uh again available from Janome dealers and i love having the extra light because you know when you're in a hurry and you, can you see this tone on tone fabric there uh it's so easy to get it reversed. And I noticed as I was sewing the seam, I sewed one seam and then I sewed the other and I noticed, oh no, it's backward. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> so again, another reason why I love having all this daylight lamp in my sewing room here, because I'm going to end up removing that and, you know, flip it around. And it's like, oh, you know, it happens. So again, when you're in a hurry and when the um, lighting isn't necessarily so great. Oh, and Patrick's here. Hello. How are you? Oh, it's great to see you all. Again, I'm back from the Sewing and Learning Center. Let me flip around. Hello. And you'll see today I'm Hermie. Oh, I think this is probably backwards to you guys <laughs> uh, since I have the camera flipped. But yes, uh, when I was doing my Facebook Live yesterday from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center, uh, I was embroidering this hat and posted on the Genome HQ Facebook page. Uh, yes, I, I uh, embroidered Hermie on the brim of this ready-made hat. Again, it was only a couple of bucks. And then I just embroidered it very quickly. And, you know, Hermie, if you've all watched that, um, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the, the animated uh, special that they, they always play at Christmas. Uh, I've been watching it, you know, since I was born. That show was ultimately, you know, like 
10 years before I was born, but it was always in reruns when I grew up. So Hermie, the elf that wanted to be a dentist that didn't really fit in, hmm, I sort of identify with that. I feel like I've never fit in anywhere. Uh, so I always felt this, you know, kinship to, to Hermie. Uh, so yes, I thought for Christmas, I'll, I'll be Hermie the elf as I'm doing all these little, um, you know, holiday projects uh, here for our Janome dinner. And then of course, oh, this is a homage to Rudolph. This is a beautiful ruby red Janome uh, red bobbin, so I thought, oh, this could, um, oh, and Mark is here, hello, <laughs> uh, that I thought this would again be homage to uh, Rudolph, but these red bobbins, oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. We got, ooh, a whole case of 25, you'll see one is missing, uh, <laughs> since it's on my little hat here, uh, but yeah, isn't it amazing that we've got now blue bobbins, pink bobbins, and now these gorgeous red bobbins. So, uh, 25 of them. So, again, you can order from your Janome dealer. Look at that lighting behind me, too. I think, oh, I probably shouldn't have the camera around too much uh, because of all that lighting. Uh, let me give you a little hmm, tour. Or I suppose while I'm here, I will say, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me from the Janome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, my name is Michael Smith, the National Consumer Education Manager of Janome Canada, and I'm here at the Sewing and Learning Center doing some more of our holiday sewing that uh, for the last several weeks on Janome HQ Instagram, and then I've been doing a couple of Facebook Lives uh, that you can go back to search the uh, on Janome HQ, uh, doing some holiday decorating that we're going to have for our Christmas party here. And, you know, because of the COVID and everything, uh, we are not going out to a restaurant as we normally would. We are going to be holding our staff Christmas dinner here at the office. So I've been doing all these table runners and placemats and I'll be doing a couple of other uh, little projects. Again, the little uh, Hermie uh, Christmas hat that I did uh, is one of those little projects. Again, a ready-made uh, hat you can embroider with your Janome machine and how quick and easy it is to customize. So there is my finished table runner. Oh, you can see there. Uh, I was just started them yesterday. I'm doing about four because we're having several tables. So I'm doing four table runners and then I'll do placemats and uh, again a couple of other projects to tie in our color scheme uh, was this like minty green and we've uh, been finding it uh, quite challenging to find just the right shade of green. So we ultimately, whenever you can't match your fabric, again, um, tr then try not to match everything purposely, uh, you know, make it so that you've got more variety. So again, because we couldn't find kind of just the right minty green, we elected for, oh, like this one here. And then look at that one. I mean, that's quite a different when you compare them. But then, you know, this is what makes your quilts and your home deck projects and you know even your garments more exciting and more dynamic because they're not so plain and boring with the same fabric all the time so uh even we added this dot and again it's yet another green uh but again that makes it more interesting and then our uh, main theme was this black and white check but then even there that oh this is a black and white uh seersucker which i love uh that can be a little bit challenging uh fabric though because it's kind of stretchy uh but still a different scale of the black and white so here is like this big buffalo check which is great but then even there that's a smaller check so again it's nice to vary them and then this I loved that it looks like gold stitching. So in our color scheme, we've got black and white and uh, uh, minty green and then little accents of uh, gold. So isn't that cute? So yes, uh, let me see who else is here. Oh, and Shane, lovely. And Rose, hello. I'm seeing if our lovely Tanya is here viewing. Uh, Tanya was going to uh, join. Uh, initially, Tanya was going to be here joining me from the Sewing and Learning Center, but again, because of that weather, she elected to stay home. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. So then, um, you know, my apartment here in Oakville is, is close to the office, so I don't mind driving in this. She's a little further. 
So we said, okay, no, fine. Again, with technology, this is how the whole Janome staff is going to uh, come together for Christmas dinner. We're going to do it virtually. Those of us that are able to make it physically uh, will, and then those who are remotely, we're going to patch in with all this technology, and that way we can all be together but apart. Um, but yeah, here's another beautiful daylight lamp. Uh, this one is the uh, Slimline, and I love because this one, you know, clamps onto my little uh, uh, bookcase here. So then I love having this over my pressing station. So again, when you're pressing, it's nice to have some extra light. And then here's the daylight lamp. This is the floor version, floor lamp version. I love having it because I have another pressing station. My old beat up ironing board from my apartment, I brought it in today because then it's nice to have this big uh, pressing service for the table runners there to press them all because, you know, they're um, they're on the bias. Uh, the triangles, the outer triangles here um, are on the bias. So it's nice to be able to lay them flat as you're then pinning on this lattice so you're not getting any rippling of your bias. So again, that's why I brought in my big ironing board here so I could lay it all out flat and pin down my uh, sashing, or if this were your quilt, you know, these would be like your borders or your sashing for your quilt. So you want to pin them all down or clip them down so they're nice and flat so nothing is stretching. So, ooh, and look at that gorgeous Janome scissor case. <laughs> That is going to be uh, shown in a class I'm going to be doing um, next week. You know, I'm doing online classes from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center. So on the uh, Genome HQ Facebook page, then you can see the, uh, the class list is all up uh, pinned to the top. So then you can see the um, list of classes there. Uh, let's see. So, I just wanted to, again, check in with everyone and see what they are doing. Uh, what are you all up to on a Sunday, especially with a snowy Sunday? Now, Sandra, I know you're in uh, California, so I know it's not sunny. <laughs> uh, where, Or I know it's not snowing where you are. Um, yes. So yeah, so what's new and exciting? Uh, while I'm doing my sewing, I will just uh, unpick this at another time. <laughs> but you know, while I'm doing my sewing, I just want to give you all some tips again on some um, bias uh, cut fabric on how you will handle it all. Again, I love these wonder clips. Now, there's so many different varieties of clips, but I really like holding uh, all my strips together, my sashing together, so it's nice and flat. And then that way I don't have to worry about anything, you know, stretching out of shape, uh, particularly on, again, the, the bias edge of those triangles. Now, where I got the pattern is from our friends at Sew for Home. Um, if you haven't heard of Sew for Home, it is a fabulous resource. It is Sew, S-E-W, for, the number four, home. Uh, so go on their website, Sew for Home, and they've got a ton of tips and tutorials about all things sewing. They use Janome machines and pressure feet and everything, so it's great to get more tips and tricks on how to use all those machines and pressure feet. And they have a ton of free patterns. So this is a patchwork dresser cloth with button accents, uh, I use the search box on the Sofa Home website to search for table runners. And there's a many, many patterns that come up. This is one of them that I chose because again, the, the patchwork here reminded me of the uh, black and white check that we have in our fabric, you know, that, that's kind of patchwork. So that's what inspired me to choose this pattern. Uh, plus it was free. <laughs> and you know, it looked very easy and, and very interesting. So they've got all the instructions here to again, print out and follow along. Now I'm not gonna do mine with buttons because 
uh, again, we're going to uh, use this as a table runner. So then uh, I don't want to have, you know, any glasses of wine or anything falling over. So, uh, but yes, it makes a good pattern. And then again, you can always adapt every pattern to make it your own. Uh, it's sunny here in California, but it's a little bit cold. Oh, yes. Um, I have a feeling, Sandra, again, the, the cold weather is coming in everywhere, regardless of where you are unless you're in the southern part of the uh the world which that would be lovely oh and greg is here hello how are you oh and diane hello oh it's awesome to see you guys oh thank you so much for joining me again i'm here from the Janome sewing and learning center alone so it's always nice to have some company here uh but yes i wanted to say as i was sewing on these oh no it's this strip that i need this is the outer the outer. I've got several uh, of these table runners uh, on the go. And then, yes, on the outer edge here uh, of this uh, check, th that is a bias edge. So whenever you're sewing a bias, regardless of what it is, you definitely want to have that closer to your feed dogs. And the feed dogs are going to help ease in some of that bias and prevent it from stretching. So I have the straight grain strip on top and then I can use again my clips to keep it all together and then away I go it just makes it so accurate that I never have to worry about anything stretching out of shape and again I love these clips not only because they're red <laughs> you know Janome's uh, color is red so I love red is my favorite color and then, oh, look, they match our beautiful red bobbins. Like, don't you love things in your sewing room that coordinate? Uh, so, yes, I love using these clips to keep everything flat. I really stopped using pins. Even when I studied uh, fashion design years ago, uh, I really stopped using pins whenever I can. And when they came out with these clips, you know, several years ago, a decade ago, I oh, I love them. Uh, they really make your sewing a lot faster and easier, and you still have those accurate results. Now, sometimes, of course, you have to pin. There's no way around it. But whenever I can get away from it, uh, I do, <laughs> and I use the clips instead. I also love using these clips when I'm surging, because, you know, when I uh, first started to use the serger way back in high school, is when I learned to sew, and our instructor never let us use pins because she was so worried that, you know, we were going to run over the pin with the, the knife blade of the serger. So I got used to sewing without them, so it's fine. But sometimes, yeah, you really want that accuracy of pinning. But again, your, your fear is always you're going to run over the pin with the knife blade. So I either pin either way far away or, again, I love using these clips. So then that way uh, you can't run over <laughs> the, um, the clips with the knife blade of the serger. So again, there's my big long sashing strip, which I'm now going to then take to the pressing surface. And again, I would press to set my seams. I like to set my seams. Do all of you set your seams before you press open? You hit it with the, the iron first to kind of set that seam, snug it down in the fabric, and then I would fold this over. Uh, some people do set their seams and others, no, they, they don't at all. So uh, it's kind of funny how there's like two schools of thought. One is not better than the other. It's just, you know, whatever works for you. So personally, I always press it first as it, as it was sewn and then I flip it over. Uh, that's the way, again, I, I learned to sew, you know, 30 years ago. And when I was in fashion design uh, school in college, uh, that's what we did as well. We always pressed the seam first as it was sewn and then we flipped it open. Uh, so that's what I will do here. And then, you know, trim off my sashing there and finish up a little bit sashing there. And then I've got another one almost done. And then, you know, when I'm so excited to, last week I got a brand new Quilt Maker Pro 18-inch uh, long arm with the Pro Stitcher Premium computer. So I'm going to load these. All four table runners are going to go on the Quilt Maker Pro long arm, and I'm going to quilt them all there to get them all done uh, fast because, yes, we've got a couple of weeks till our 
uh, Christmas dinner. So we're really running out of time. Uh, this little sample I wanted to show you all was, you know when you've got a match as my sashing goes from here, you know, and when you're doing a quilt, if this is your sampler quilt, and you want your sashing here to match up row by row. So all I do is just lay it on top. Can you see? That way back here. So here's my, my little white sashing in between, and there's my white sashing there. So I make sure that my seams match up on either side, and I just kind of roll it down so I know it's going to match. And again, I don't really pin too much, but this is again where I love these clips to hold it down into place. That also holds the seam allowance down, so then that way I don't have to worry about it flipping. And you will see this very cool gauge here, this guide that I have on my beautiful Continental M7 here. This does not come with the machine, but it is an optional accessory. It is our cloth guide, adjustable cloth guide. And this little screw here screws down into the needle plate on most machines, and then this guide can slide back and forth. So I'm sewing with a half of an inch. So I've got it lined up with my half of an inch marking on my patented Janome needle plate. So that way it makes it very quick and easy to sew. And again, I've got my regular um, presser foot on. So it makes it super easy. So this uh, cloth guide, so long as your machine has a hole in the needle plate, uh, your machine will be able to accommodate, uh, accommodate this metal uh, cloth guide. You can check with your Janome dealer. So yes, it works so perfectly. So, oh yay, so Tanya is here. There she is, yay, lovely, hello, fabulous. Now let me see if I can do this. This is a first. Uh, I'm going to send this invite to Tanya and see if she will be in to join. Again, I've never done something like this, so it's new uh, for all of us in this, uh, you know, whole crazy uh, day and age. Uh, we're trying multiple things as, again, another way to connect and share the Janome love, as I always say. See, I think a lot, um, oh, it depends on the connection. Uh, it says adding, but then connection failed. So I wonder, oh, it could be the weather uh, that is failing. Whoops. So we'll see. You know, that's the nice thing. You know, when technology works, it's great that we can all stay together. But when ton technology does not work, oh boy, are we ever at the mercy. Uh, so yes, then this strip, whoops, this strip I would normally then, ooh, I would normally then uh, press this all, or I would set my seam and then I would press this all over. And then again, you see my match there so you want it to be close now you could if you really wanted to you could really measure that and make sure that it's absolutely perfect but uh visually is generally what i do because then visually does it really line up yes i'd say that Visually, I'd say that's a pretty good match there. <laughs> so I'm more than happy with that. Again, I could totally get out the uh, little, you know, measuring tool as I often do. You know, I've had this for like 30 years <laughs> and that I keep it next to my sewing machine. So, oh, I could measure exactly and make sure, oh, yes, it's 90 degrees and it's perfect. But, um, you know, visually, does it look good? Yes, that looks good. So, yes, fabulous. Uh, gee, we were really hoping to get... Tanya on here, but it keeps saying that the connection is failing. So it could be that, um, you know, we're also in the plaza here at the uh, Janome Sewing and Learning Center. We're in a commercial plaza. There's multiple units here and there's a lot going on in the uh, space next door. Uh, so 
maybe that is uh, going on. We have a sales center for uh, condos in the space next door. Uh, I thought, oh, I better clarify what's going on next door. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a sales center for some new condos that are being built in Oakville. So there is lots going on there. The parking lot is quite full. Um, so even though it's a Sunday, uh, they are there. And so maybe, you know, so many people using the internet, uh, sometimes that can cause connections to fail. Or again, with the weather, with the snow, uh, that can cause uh, connections to fail. So uh, I'll try one more time. And if not, then, oh, we'll just do another uh, session where Tanya will be here uh, joining me again initially she was um, going to be here in person but because of the weather uh, we said no no fine we can connect uh, uh, you know uh, by technology <laughs> uh, again when it works uh, so far knock wood I've been very lucky with my online classes that uh, the connection has not failed then and, you know, if it does at the end of the day, oh, well, we'll just reschedule. And again, we'll do another Facebook Live where Tanya can join uh, if she isn't here. Um, now, this coming week, though, we've been alternating how many are in our office, though, again, because of uh, COVID restrictions. So this coming week, you know, starting tomorrow, then Tanya and I are, are in the office uh, together. So we'll be doing um, the Instagram live. I'll be doing that at Janome HQ Instagram page at 1 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. I'll be doing another machine for our Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And then hmm, uh, we will be here. Around this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, better. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, that um, I will be doing another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour on uh, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern at Janome HQ Instagram page. And then, again, uh, I've got, ooh, a, ooh, a big, ooh, big ruler class on uh, Tuesday that I'm doing online. So, yes, that'll be definitely very busy. And then I've got another one Friday. So in between, I've got to, you know, prep for these classes, but I'm also going to be sewing uh, like mad because then I definitely need to get, you know, there's uh, the beginnings of this beautiful, uh, again, table runner, the pattern from Sew for Home. So again, I've got to finish all of these and then I want to start on some other projects. So maybe even, um, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe even like Thursday, uh, could possibly do a Facebook Live uh, from the, again, Janome Sewing and Learning Center, and maybe Tanya will be here in person. Let's hope the weather is good <laughs> so that everybody's here in person, and then we can uh, show you what, you know, she's doing as well, because she's also working on some uh, projects here for our uh, special holiday uh, get together that we're going to have with our staff. So, oh, it looks like I'm being <laughs> like with that light behind me. Oh, it looks like I'm being impaled on it. Uh, you know, Tanya said when I showed these in our um, Janome uh, HQ Magical Machine Mystery Tour, you know, these daylight lamps, I love them, particularly the floor lamp here, because I can position it everywhere. So I've had it at some of the machines, uh, specifically the uh, Artistic Quilter sit-down 16, 16-inch uh, machine. I had it there, so then the, the light is over. And again, you everybody needs more lighting, uh, certainly. So then I love this. And Tanya said, oh, it looks like a big lightsaber. Uh, so yes, it's true. It looks like I'm being impaled by the lightsaber. <laughs> but given I'm such a big Star Wars fan, that's not such a bad thing, you know? So uh, yes, how am I doing time-wise? I didn't want to keep you all to... Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, yes, too bad Tanya couldn't join us. We will, uh, again, troubleshoot. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably weather-wise is, uh, again, the connection just keeps saying that it's failed. So um, we tried. And then again, maybe next time we can do it uh, where she can join in. Uh, and show you all the projects that she's working on too. Or again, uh, we'll do them here from the Sewing and Learning Center when she's in as well. And then you can see some more exciting things that we're up to. So yes, thank you everyone for joining me. This will be again on available to watch again if you happen to tune in late. Again, I just wanted to say hi and see uh, what everybody else is up to and show you a little bit more of our progress of 
what we're working on for our um, holiday preparations here at the Sewing and Learning Center, our Janome HQ. Uh, but then also I will turn this into a little video that will be on the Janome HQ uh, YouTube uh, channel as well. So again, people can go back and review at any time and I try to share a little couple of tips and tricks, you know, sort of along the way as well, or some show you some new Janome goodies. Again, like these beautiful red bobbins, <laughs> brand new, so you can uh, check with your Janome dealer. And certainly again, with these beautiful daylight lamps, uh, you see how much I love them. Um, then yes, you can check with your Janome dealer as well uh, about those. They would make a great Christmas gift. Don't you agree? <laughs> So, yes, I will see you all again. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. Bye.